Good morning, y'all. Tracy, Charles the long-haired girl here. Chris, the short-haired guy. Pardon my hair. It's been a it's been an interesting interesting morning already. Okay, time for Tag Tuesday, brought to you by Sandy over at Life with Sandy. Um, Hi, Sandy. this is a family no tag question or questions. Um, which family member is the best cook, worst cook, but they try? Are we talking immediate family? Just whatever. Because if we're talking extended family, I would think it would probably, I would probably say my mom or my nanny. Is the best cook? Although my mama was really good too. Okay. What do you think? I'd really just have to go with my mom because really nobody else has ever cooked for me. Strange. Except me. Well, I, I, you're talking extended family. Okay. <laughs> I said extended family because did. she, she didn't okay. make it clear. Yeah. Um, okay. What is your favorite story about your grandparents? For me, um, we are firm believers in tithes. My nanny was working at, um, I'm not going to say, she was working a job. My grandfather was um, a veteran. So he was using his benefits and paying her tithes. But my nanny was also paying her tithes. So my pastor, the one who actually married my husband and I, took them into his office and had a conversation and said, you know, hey, I, I don't mind that you're both paying tithes, but, you know, it's extra tithes and maybe you need that money for your household. And my grandmother got all upset and told my grandfather she could pay her own tithes. <laughs> Which is a funny thing to be fighting over because, you know, you're giving money to the church. But, yeah, that is my funny story about my grandparents. Jump cut. Okay. Um, do you want to tell the story about your, my favorite story about your grandparents? It's funny that she has a favorite story about my grandparents. Um, on my dad's side, my grandmother um, was my grandfather's gunnery instructor in the Navy. She taught him how to uh, disassemble, clean, and reassemble machine guns. She loves that story. It's just so awesome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. What was it like growing up being the youngest, oldest, middle, or only child? Well, what can I say? I was the only child and the only grandchild for a number of years. I can't even remember. Um, so, I was kind of spoiled. She still is. <laughs> I love you, honey. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I talk to myself, and sometimes it kind of throws him for a loop because I talk to myself, but I was an only child. If my mom wasn't around, if somebody wasn't around, I talked to myself. It's I was thing. the oldest, but I don't know if really, I, I guess there's not really a particular way that went. I, I mean, but really you, and, you and Dan really kind of, you got along, you weren't bickering all the time. I mean, other than normal. Yeah. Okay. Right? No. Um, what TV family reminds you of your family? Okay. Ironically enough, because my parents divorced, um, and so my dad wasn't around for my teen years a lot. Um, he went down a slippery, he went down a, a slippery slope. Anyway, um, so for me, it kind of reminds me of the, the Gilmore Girls. That's, that's what it reminds me of. The relationship that they have, um, Lorelai and Roy, Rory, it, it reminds me of my relationship with my mom. So that's, that's what I would go with. And I'm not familiar with any TV families, so we just won't even go there. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. Um... Um, what personality traits do you share with your family? I'm very analytical. You are very analytical. And I math. Yes, he does. And he often maths for me. Yes. Um, okay, I look like my mama. Those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, if you've seen the picture, like people comment all the time how much I look like my mom, which initially as a child frustrated me to no end but you know otherwise I think 
as I've gotten older, like when I was younger, when it was just me and Jared, I would get creative in the kitchen. Um, and I kind of had routines that I would do. Um, funny story there. I, I was cooking pork chops one night. Somebody came to the door. She's like, are you cooking spaghetti? I'm like, no, it's pork chops. She could smell the garlic because I used, like, my favorite seasonings to use when I cooked anything was salt, pepper, and garlic. So, yeah. But I've gotten a little more creative in the kitchen, I think, now. Um, how did your parents slash grandparents meet? I have no idea. Well, you found out about my grandparents already. My parents met in Bridge Club. So there you go. And yet, I don't know how to play bridge. How ironic is that? Anyways, moving right along. Neither do I. Um, okay. What is your favorite childhood memory with family? Vacation, holiday, birthday, time with a relative. For me, one of my... I have two that, like, pop into my head. Um, for me, with my nanny, it was following her out to the clothesline and helping her take stuff down off the line or helping her put stuff on the line. Um, so when I do my delegates that don't need to go in the dryer, um, I take them out on our small line, at least what I can, if the weather's decent. Um, the other one, and at some point maybe I'll show you pictures. I have pictures that my mom took from Easter where my hair, she had had me sleep in foam rollers so I kind of had the Shirley Temple curls and for some reason that like that Easter kind of sticks out in my head I remember hunting the eggs in my nanny's big backyard where the clothesline was <laughs> um so yeah that's that's kind of it and then for my mom it, it's really kind of just our time spent together we would spend a lot of time on you know she'd be on the couch I'd be on the love seat with our books with the TV on just reading and sometimes we would talk and sometimes we wouldn't talk sometimes we'd just be together so there you go honey okay um it's a good question probably one of i don't know going to canada when i was a kid i'll just go with that that's easy um other than your significant other which other family member do you trust and confide in the most It would probably have to be I know who one or the other of my sons. Okay. Yeah. It would also have to be my son. Okay. Anyways. Um, which family member has the biggest impact on your life, had the biggest impact on your life growing up? That would have to be my dad. Um... I go back and forth between my mom and my nanny. Like, I have a love of recycling for my nanny. Um, she grew up in the Great Depression, so there are things that she kind of shared with me that I maybe wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, and then my mom just, you know, again, we had an amazing relationship. Um, have you ever, have you ever mapped out your family tree? I have partially done it. Um, there's much that I'm missing, so I'm still kind of working on it, kind of hit and miss, but I've, I've done part of it. Me personally, no. Ex-wife did some on the other side, and a family member on my side did sort of half of my family. So, personally, okay. no. All right. That is all 10 questions. Thank you for joining us, guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. And... Have a great Tuesday. Bye, y'all.